Well, hello there. Today, we are going to be making a balloon that's kind of on the unusual side, but that's a good thing. You see, everybody does dogs and swords and hats and snakes and number ones and a minus sign, an electric eel, and that's why different is good. Because it throws people off, they don't expect it. And that's part of the magic of the balloons. When they twist something, they don't know what it is, they try to figure it out. So, without further ado, let's make a cockroach. To start off, you're gonna need five balloons. Two brown 260s, one 360, your choice of color. A yellow five inch round, and a scrap of red 260, or wildberry, either or. And that's it, let's get started like this. About four to five fingers of length at the end there. Pretty good. Blow up the second one, like this, and then you're gonna start off just like you do for a flat weave. If you don't know how to do a flat weave, you can check one of my previous videos. At least I think there is, I haven't checked in a while. But you can check one of the previous videos on how to do a flat weave. Just do one layer for now. Normally a flat weave you would keep going, but we're gonna do one and then we bring them both together and we're gonna make a triangle like this. This is what we're looking for. Now you're going to bring this top section here to the side and stretch both of these up over the top. Now for the total height of your cockroach, this should be about half the height, and then the height that we twist up here is gonna be about half as well. So these should be about equal proportions. At this point, you should have something that looks like this. Two balloons coming off the top, and then you have this. Next, pick up your five inch round and blow it up about the size of a baseball. Or a little, just a tiny bit bigger. Take your five inch round and split it in half. What I like to do is I like to have the nozzle end facing towards me. I grab it and kind of approximate where it is and then I twist it off. like so. Now we're going to take this and put it into our cockroach. It's going to go in between this big space right here, like so. And now we can position the antennas, antennae. In, in 10 or 15 minutes I, I got to go do the laundry, but we'll finish this up. Take the longer of the two brown balloons and make a pinch twist like so and then you're going to shock twist these brown balloons and make them zigzaggy like so I like to have them curl down a bit and then zigzag but um, as long as they have sharp points like it comes out here over to here down to here out to there down to there as long as they're sharp crisp points they kind of look like antenna Almost done. We're going to get our scrap of red and make two pinch twists with a little bit of section in between. Take your red section and slide it in between this long brown balloon here, and these will be the pupils of our cockroach. Oh, he's so cute! Or gross or something, I don't, I don't know. But now we just have one more part, and that is the 360. Lope your 360, not all the way, you want to leave a little bit of a tail. This part's not as important. As long as you have enough for a handle and pinch twists at the end, that's all we need. When you tie the 360, make sure you leave plenty of slack, as we're going to need some slack to attach it to the cockroach. One pinch twist down, two to go. Pinch twist base with a lot of slack. Now, take that slack in your 360 
and wrap it around the bottom of the cockroach. Make sure you wrap it inside of the cockroach, in between, in and around, and make sure it has a nice tight lock to it. And there you have your cockroach. It's really fast and easy for line work, and it's a little gross and yucky for the boys that like, you know, bugs and spiders and things like that, or even if they just want something different. You can also upscale in 360s. And if you want, if you have more time at a smaller party, feel free to add a body to this. But I found that the kids like the, the bugs on a stick just as much as the ones on the body. So it's, it's, all, it's entirely up to you. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this creepy, crawly cockroach bug on a stick. It's a very popular thing, especially at restaurants. So I hope you get a lot of use out of it, and I'll see you guys next time.